You know, I think from the uh, communist Chinese point of view, they would definitely not want to have a federal system, nor would they welcome a democratic uh, you know, structure in China, nor would they allow a free Tibet in uh, you know, uh, uh, Tibet, but they would definitely, from my point of view, you know, in the near future agree to the proposal that the Tibetan leadership have made over the past now almost 20 years. And our proposal, obviously, is in accordance with the Chinese constitution. We are not asking that is not already there in the constitution of China. So it's a matter of you know, a political will. What Tibetans are asking is to preserve, I won't say the entire Tibetan, but the position of the Tibetan government in exile. What we are demanding is that Tibetans be free to protect and preserve their own mm -hmm. national identity. And that would mean a genuine self-rule where Tibetans could uh, you know, have a free hand in education, in health, in, in, in domestic affairs, in economy, you name it, except for the military and defense. So which we are trying to kind of you know, uh, uh, convince the Chinese authorities that the sovereignty over Tibet is still intact. The, the territorial integrity is still intact within China, so we are not threatening in any way, apart from the Chinese leadership, to accept and respect the aspirations of the Tibetan people.